my name is Felicia and I like scary movies and today we're doing something a little different. I'm going to recommend to you guys all of the horror movie podcasts that I listen to that I've learned a lot from. Like these are podcasts that are like super informative, have really great guests. If you're interested in learning more about the genre, these also are, I will say, sort of the bigger podcast. I know there are a lot of smaller run podcasts that are also amazing and maybe I'll do a video on those in the future, but these are the ones that because of clout and reasons I'll explain, they get really great guests. Um, the people talking on them are like high horror movie authorities filmmakers, et cetera, et cetera. So I feel very excited to share these with you. And if you check them out or if you've already listened to them, let me know down below. The first one I wanna talk about is the Boo Crew Podcast. So I have mentioned them on this channel multiple times. I love them. They are a group of just horror movie lovers and they go to the movies together. That's how they started. They all were always going to see horror movies together and they titled themselves the Boo Crew and then they started this podcast. They are also prop collectors. So they collect a lot of horror movie props. Apparently their space and house is like amazing, which I want to see one day. So these are the hosts of the podcast. We have Trevor Shand, Lauren Shand, Rachel Tejada, Austin Wilkin, Leon D'Antonio, and Tim Timebomb. So if you guys don't know, Tim Timebomb is uh, the singer of Rancid and is a punk rock god. He is an incredible songwriter and also a horror movie fanatic. And he knows a lot. It's really great to hear him on this podcast. You can tell his voice out of everyone. And if you know Rancid, you'll understand why. They do really great interviews with filmmakers and horror inspired musicians. One of my favorite episodes is episode 10 with R.H. Davis, who is an exorcist. And she is so cool. Um, she has a book out called Sister of Darkness, The Life of a Modern Exorcist or something like that. Um, but it's really, really good. Yeah, that's episode 10. And then another one I would recommend is, oh, the Bill Mosley one's really good. Um, the Diablo Cody one's really good. But overall, they're really fun. And even though it's a lot of people, it's not one of those podcasts that it feels like everyone's just screaming at each other. It's a very well put together, curated podcast. They also do horror homework where every week they have to like go watch a movie of a certain kind and then come back and talk about it. It's just really great, highly recommend. The next one, which is actually, I think my new favorite because I'm such a nerd, but this is Nightmare University and it's by Rebecca McKendry. This podcast is done through Fangoria. And if you don't know, Rebecca McKendry is literally a doctor of horror. She has her doctorate in horror, basically. Um, she's also a host on the Shockwaves podcast, which I'm gonna get to, um, but this is like her new podcast. There's like not that many episodes out yet. And in each episode, she talks about a different subgenre or thing about horror movies. And she goes really in depth. She knows some obscure movies. It's so crazy. Like when I'm listening to it, I have, I listen to it at work and I have like a Excel sheet open that every time she mentions a movie I've never heard of, I just like type it in and then go back to my work. Uh, because, and now my list is, my list is very long now. But she is really, really smart. She's full on like academic, brilliant lady. Very cool. I now follow her on Instagram. Please be my friend. The next what I'm going to talk about is through Shudder and that is Eli Roth's History of Horror Uncut. So if you saw the uh, History of Horror he did on AMC, which is amazing by the way, please go watch it if you haven't. Shudder put out a podcast where every single episode is whoever he interviewed is the full conversation, not like the cut and spliced version that they put on for TV, the full conversation. The one with Stephen King is really great because I feel like I haven't got to hear Stephen King do a lot of interviews and this one's pretty in depth, it's really great. He also has a Quentin Tarantino one, that one's also really good. The next one I'm gonna talk about is actually from a YouTuber, so the Dead Meat Podcast with Dead Meat James and Dead Meat Chelsea. Uh, Chelsea is James's wife fiance, girlfriend, I don't know. So he sort of runs the YouTube channel and she really is like the forefront person on the podcast. And she is such a good researcher. They do some episodes where they fully just cover a topic in horror that Chelsea does like a ton of research on. And they also do some reviews where they talk about a particular movie. A couple of my favorite episodes, one is on Final Girls in general. I think it's, actually I don't know what number episode it is, but it's just called Final Girl. Um, they also do one on trans representation in horror. That one is really, really excellent. Now that I'm scrolling through, they actually have a lot of episodes I haven't listened to yet, uh, particularly a lot of the review ones, but I that just means that I have more to listen to, so that's great. <laughs> the last one I'm gonna talk about in depth is the Shockwaves podcast. So this one's produced by Blumhouse. Its hosts are Rob Galuzzo, Elric Kane, and Rebecca McKendry again. So this one is amazing. I will say the episodes are long. Like some of them are like over two hours. Most of them are like an hour and some, but these people are brilliant. Like the movies they talk about, they talk about so many obscure films that I've never heard of that I'm so excited to watch. But because they're through Blumhouse, they have really great guests. Like every single 
horror person you've ever wanted to hear talk, they've probably interviewed them. There are 151 episodes. I'm doing sort of a skipping around thing. Like I, at first I just started at the first episode and then I started at the most recent episode and now I'm sort of skipping around for whatever I'm sort of interested in. And there's something for everything. Literally the other day I was like trying to look up um, about like exploitation films and I literally scrolled to like an episode that was like exploitation film recommendations. And I was like, it's like they have everything. It's great. And now at some point in the fall, probably, I might do a part two to this and talk about a few more podcasts. There are some others that I'm interested in right now, but I haven't gotten time to fully deep dive yet. So I just want to make sure like I know all about them before I recommend them to you. And then I also have some fun news for you guys. So if you remember, my friend Laura and I have a podcast called Sinister Sisters, Women in Horror. And we did like 10 episodes back in the spring and we are taking a break right now and revamping and we're coming back on August 5th and we're going to be doing weekly episodes and I'm so excited. It's gonna be a little bit different than the previous episodes, but you can go on iTunes or wherever you listen to the podcast and binge those 10 episodes, but we're gonna be back on August 5th. And that's it, you guys. If you have other recommendations for horror movie podcasts, please link them down below, especially smaller podcasts, um, because I really only checked out like the more big ones under big names like Fangoria, Shudder, and Blumhouse. So I'd be interested in seeing some more indie ones that people are just running out of their homes. Please send me those, and I will see you in my next video. Have a nice scream. Bye.